Hey everyone, Ryan from E-Bike Escape, and today we're back in the E-Bike Escape studio slash garage. I finished up three electric bike reviews, and now I will feature a bunch of accessories in the upcoming months because it's just not as nice to be outside riding. And of course, the season is kind of coming to an end depending on where you live. But today I wanted to talk about a bike horn offered by a company called Hornet. Now, I was considering whether I should actually do a standalone video about this product, but I think this horn warrants it. I've been keeping my eye out for a quality bike horn, and there just aren't many options available. Some of the better quality or highly rated ones that are out there around $50, and I met Hornet at Sea Otter, which was held virtually this year. And so I reached out to them and they agreed to send me this horn so I could check it out. It is 140 decibels and it comes with two sound options. And at least right now on Amazon, it's only 30 bucks. I will have a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. But let's get to the video where I'm gonna show you how I attach this on our Aerial Rider X-Class. Obviously a horn is really nice to have from a safety perspective. There are just tons of bells for sale, but not many horns. And the horns that are for sale, I haven't found anyone with really great reviews until I came across this Hornet. The other one, as I was mentioning earlier, is sold by Juiced Electric Bikes. They kind of have sourced their own and have branded it themselves. But Aerial Rider also recently added one to their website, which I believe might just be the same horn as Juice Bikes is using. So that's the only other one that I'd personally recommend, but they are pretty expensive at around 50 bucks. I'll also have a link to those in the description, but I do like the Hornet because it is a little bit cheaper. They advertise it as 140 decibels and it has two sounds, which I will share. But before I do that, I'm just gonna show you how this mounts. As you can see, it is a simple rubber strap. And so this does run on two AAA batteries. And I do like that they use AAAs because then I can use my Panasonic Eneloops, which are rechargeable. And I don't need to worry about whatever battery they choose in this going bad, which I think is the case of some of the lower quality ones that I see on Amazon. And then you also have a cable from the horn to the actual button. And the button is also attached just with a nice simple rubber strap. And so I'm going to play the first sound, which is more of the horn. This is the one that I commonly use. And then there's a button on the back of the Hornet right here. If I press that, it'll change the sound. It's more of a, an alarm sound. And then what you can do with that cable is to get a nice clean install. You can wrap it around the handlebars. You can see I have it here. And then there's none of that cable hanging down like I showed in the picture before. On the Aerial Rider X-Class, we have the th left thumb throttle here. And what's nice is I was able to position the LCD screen over to the right and then we have the mirror. I was able to put the Hornet button right next to the thumb throttle there. And what's nice is I still can hit it when my hands are on the handlebar grips or also if I was braking. So really nice, handy. And from a safety perspective, bells are really nice when you're going past pedestrians, but with some of these moped style electric bikes, you really wanna have a more presence on the road. So many times I'm riding my bike and drivers are just not paying attention. And so having a loud horn gives you a little bit more presence and you can get their attention and make eye contact so they can see you. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Hornet Bicycle Horn. It is most definitely going on my list of recommended electric bike accessories. That will be linked in the description. I'll also have a direct link to this. Of course, I also have my electric bike deals page. If you make a purchase, that really helps me out. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.